Shalom and welcome to another series of Living Supernaturally. We're delighted to walk alongside with you and to have the opportunity to read and meditate on God's Word. For our series this week, we are going to be looking at Come, some of the invitations of Jesus. You know that invitations are often very exciting and personal. You may be called by somebody to come to their home. And this is a reflection of the uh, personal relationship that they would like to share with you. In the Bible, there are many invitations that Jesus extends to his disciples, which is even relevant for us today. The invitation to come expresses a few things. It expresses the desire and the compassionate heart of God. It expresses the appeal that God has for us to come to Him. And it is also a call for us to move away from that which is sinful to that which is abundant. For today's episode, we are going to be looking at come and follow. We have seen a couple of times when Jesus invites His disciple to come and follow. Reading from scripture of one of these examples, Matthew 4 verses 18 to 19, as Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. This example is one where Jesus is choosing his disciples and we see the invitation is extended to Peter and to Andrew. And they were casting a net and we, we find that there is no hint of these men stopping or talking about it. Scripture says that they immediately left their nets and followed him. We find another example of Matthew, the tax collector, where Jesus calls him and says, come, and follow me. And he immediately leaves what he's doing and follows Jesus. What do these words, come and follow, mean? This means there is an immediate detachment from everything that is of personal interest and an attachment to Christ. Implied to this call of Jesus was a turning away from sin into something that, that, is, that brings about salvation. Follow me, as we have seen in these examples, is a call of obedience. It's not just a mere invitation. It is an imperative command. We find that this invitation for us too is a check on our obedience. We see another example of a rich young ruler who was also called and he came to Jesus as his rightful master. But the, the rich young ruler refused to follow him because his heart was set on many other things. The true believer is the one who enters into the obedience in Christ, enters into that life of obedience to Christ. The response for that invitation, come and follow, is a simple act in Christ. It is possible to follow him only if we trust him. If we do not follow, we're not committed to Him. But if we choose and make that choice to follow Him, we are uh, ensuring that we submit to His Lordship. So let's make this an everyday prayer as Jesus calls us, invites us to come and to follow Him. And let's respond to this call. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we respond to your invitation to follow you. Lord, we respond, Lord, in trust to you. You are our God and we submit to your Lordship. We pray we will keep away every interest that, that holds our mind. And Lord, we will follow the path of eternal life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.